guys. It is Monday, April 13th, and this is your Bible lesson, lesson 24.1. Um, this week we're going to go ahead and learn about the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is described as God's force. It's his force of energy. And a verse that I looked up and I thought um, just talked to my heart was Psalms 104.30. And it says, God sends out his spirit by projecting his energy to any place to accomplish his will. I just thought, wow, God projects his energy for us. He has a will for us, but he does this so that we can be successful, so that we will know him and know his word. And that's why reading your Bible, guys, is so important. Um, your memory verse for this week, if we had been in class and talking about it, would have been Acts 4, verse 31. And it says, after they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. They were bold when they spoke God's word. And it's so amazing because there are times where there's sometimes I've heard my students tell me this, and, it, and it's this for me as well. Sometimes I'm, you're doing something and you have this feeling or you almost have like someone talking you, telling you, uh, don't do that or this is what I want you to do. And we talk about how that's God and that's the Holy Spirit in us trying to guide us in the right way to do God's will. So listen to that voice. Listen to the Holy Spirit, guys. You, We're so lucky as Christians to have the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit guiding us. So um, we're going to go ahead and watch the um, stories of the Bible. I, I know my kiddos love this one. And this is about the Holy Spirit. Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. Hey so after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Yeah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Hmm. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd. Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you. He told them that they were not acting strangely but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt. And they asked, brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They helped those in need. 
worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy, all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. just what an amazing gift God had by giving us the Holy Spirit. Uh, guys, I urge you to use God. Let God use you. Excuse me. Let God use you in a mighty way. Use this time with your family and pray together, eat together, love each other, listen to the Holy Spirit, read God's word daily. Uh, I challenge you guys to read a devotion online and and write about it guys it just take his word take it to heart and how can you apply it in your life um for this practice book page you need to work page 93 and you need to be reading acts 2 verse 1 through 13 and that should find you guys i'll give you the page numbers you should be on acts 2 verse 1 so you'll start on page um, 1,318, so you'll read verses 1 through 13, and after you complete that, go ahead and do your practice book page, and you can take a picture of it and send it to us when you're done. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email us, um, but I'd like to close us out in prayer, so please bow your heads and close your eyes. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this beautiful day. We just ask that you watch over us, guide us, protect us. We just love you, Lord Jesus, and we're just so thankful that you sent your force, your Holy Spirit, to us to do your will. We just pray that you can use us in a mighty way, Lord Jesus, and in your precious name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. Have an awesome day.